Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the Morning Ball Report. As I am Joe Benazzi, Chief Operating Officer, Chief Operating Officer of OptionPit.com, welcoming you to again Condor Intensive this Saturday. For all of you who want to understand how to make money trading condors, iron condors, managing iron condors, hedging iron condors, um, this is the class. Uh, great class, intensive class. Uh, we go through Greek management, uh, structure, everything. Um, so it's a lot. It's a lot in three and a half hours, I have to say. Uh, but a good class. All of you that are Option Pit Live subscribers, we have a couple spots open for our event. Uh, once we hit our number, though, we'll close close the doors on it. But we have a very good turnout, so pretty happy with that. Uh, fun, a lot of good information from other industry professionals. Um, Mark and myself, and just fun in Chicago in June. Good time to be in Chicago. Um, and with that, headline news. Okay, you guys remember the health care uh, bill here? Not quite sure what's going on. You remember when they couldn't get the health care passed? We kind of sold off. Um, now they're going to pass some health care, and we don't like it. Um, I think the bigger question really is we've had – there's been a lot of rally, um, and where do we go from here? Um, interest rates, the bank's starting to get a little flutter again. We'll look at some trades in there. But I think the big story is, you know, just real simple. It's a strange trend I've been looking at all week. There's been a lot of buyers of paper in names like – Rig, Noble Energy, uh, Weatherford International, it might just be against short stock positions. Um, however, they just look awful. Rig, 10 bucks, it looks like it's going to go back to some all-time lows. Um, other stuff, other commodity producers, FCX getting back down to those kind of sort of yucky low areas that it was trading at. Um, gold kind of falling apart. That was a – we did it's another trade we did. We're not like – didn't like gold very much. Uh, we didn't have really anything on, but um, certainly not sitting trying to catch a bounce in it. So commodities not looking good. Um, we'll look at some of the commodity ETFs. But you've got commodities not – and that's a big chunk of the S&P 500. Um, so the whole thing with oil, we're now starting to see some prices that um, – just we haven't seen these levels in a while. Uh, just using USO as a proxy, not the best proxy, but um, you know, do we? Is it? Are we going back to the bad old days? Um, I mean, this is this is six month lows now. Uh, there could be some sneakiness in production, um, things like that. NFX is a commodity producer. Just I'm just looking at some. Yeah, another explorer buying more puts. You know, just not a lot of um, these companies really can't hold a bid. That's the bottom line. I don't know how low it all goes. Um, we do know the lows. And at this point, we've given back about half of uh, about half of the rally. And pretty much, you just take your pick. Uh, XOP is a name that I like to look at um, for this. Uh, the lows are in the mid 20s, and that it's just it's looking like a little bit of a free fall. So it's just one of those things to kind of watch and just watch it slide. Uh, unless um, the only kind of turnaround maybe is uh, OPEC people, uh, you know, Saudi Arabia, somebody starts to um, cut production. I think that's kind of where we are. Prices went up a little bit, the inevitable cheating starts, and then everything starts to go south. Um, also, another thing that I think is looking interesting is all the carriers like T-Mobile. Um, you know, maybe uh, T-Mobile may be doing a little better, but just what I wanted to say was, you know, from the highs, all of these recent highs, all pulling back. All pulling back. Um, uh, let's look at phone. You know, not a bad earnings, but pulling back. Um, and let's look at VZ. You know, you see a pattern to this. So I, I'm just looking at these as maybe, you know, competition in the area is crushing profits, something like that. 
I don't know when it ends, but those are all, again, in a market at all-time highs, I look for companies that are paying huge dividends, and we'll try to look for some, you know, either short put plays, diagonal put plays, something like that in there. Um, because that's, again, opportunity. You know, when they're, it, it feels like the giant sector uh, rotation where everybody just yells, get out at once, and they start thinning their commodity positions, start thinning some of the things that they have been writing and looking for other stuff. Right now, that other stuff has been, now has been banks and technology for this year. So we'll see what we get out of today. Um, Facebook earnings were actually looked good, but the stock had already run a bunch. So it's trying to hold on to those higher levels, but it's kind of having a hard time. Um, mostly just because it's run so much. Um, so I think the, the play with commodities now, I think bigger moves are possible in commodities. And, you know, just you just take something like FCX, you know, can it get back to some of those lower prices? I mean, we're at three month lows. I think we're at six month lows. <laughs> easily at six month lows. So we're kind of back to the pre pre election levels. Uh, I think you just pick any, any one of these, all of them back. So very interesting on what this produces for us. I just, again, don't have an answer on what it produces, but uh, we shall see, but it's not looking, it's not like anybody is stepping in to buy these things up either. So, um, you know, financials holding up, for the most part, technology is holding up. Um, and last, I just can't help but mention Tesla. You know, spending tons of money to get that production up. And we're back into the mode of, okay, now what is Tesla worth? I think some of those near-term time spreads, I was put time spreads, we're looking very cheap for a cheap downside play. In here. Uh, that's the first thing we look at in our chat room this morning. Uh, and with that, we have that election this weekend. So I think... The moves for Vol are going to be muted. That was kind of a call we made earlier in the week. We didn't expect after that big Monday sell-off, we didn't expect VIX to go a whole lot lower. And I think uh, pretty much we were right on that. Um, uh, all the trades we have made since then in our Vol products are just looking for um, three months. We're just looking. That was the beginning of the week. It's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, today. Just looking. Again, I'm not looking for giant rally. We're just looking for those futures kind of stop going down until we get some activity this weekend, which we still don't know what's going to be uh, out of the French because the elections have surprised everybody, so you never know. And I think the bid for volatility, you should see VIX above, probably above 11 by tomorrow unless, you know, unless some massive exit, some massive poll comes out. But. Um, I'd st I doubt that will be too much lower at this point. At the beginning of the week, I thought we took could totally discount the elections, and now the market clearly isn't. Because as far as the S&P 500 goes, I don't think we moved five handles in four days net. Let's see here. My guess is that we are almost in the exact same place. Let's see. Oh, come on. Give me my five-day chart. There we go. Yeah, look at that. Uh, 2380. What was the low here? Uh, we opened 2390. So we have a 10 handle range, barely a four handle range since Monday. That's all you have to I'll really think about. The only thing that's really different is the cues have kind of powered ahead to a new highs, although they're playing back a little today. Uh, that, uh, that is our volatility report. Don't expect much fall. Of course, overnight is anything, but right now the trend for vol is amazing as it is till this election is still lower. All right, everybody, have a good day.